Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, those that has joined us from. Good evening. Oh, someone is calling in. Let me just. Sorry. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I'm on. I'm online class in 30 minutes. My Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, those that are joining. Those that are joining. Today's class is going to be like a revision class. Uh, and it's going to for as many who intend to pass their exam. And I remain, my name is Steve, and based here in Madrid. And today is a live video. And I'm going, I, I placed my number over there in case you have any question. If you can't drop it, type to drop it, get another phone to call direct, live direct. Uh, and it is very important for you to be able to ask questions. Though I'm going to like talk a few questions from those one we did in our own class. And if you've not been a student and you want to be part of our student, you can also call me on 620-586-038. We do all possible best to make you pass. And we want to try as much as possible to guarantee your pass. That was why 
uh, this, I, I, I can't be able to be at the present of every student. That was why we create this kind of video to be able to talk to you. And as many that are watching this video, even not live, uh, please help us to share and help us to like and subscribe. Try to subscribe and try to drop comments if you are benefiting from this video. I have people that called me, send message that are benefiting and they is yielding positive to them. That was why we come on board. Remember that people pay me for this. A student pays me for this and, and uh, we have to appreciate them for making it real. So I purposely come on board because of those students that are really aiming to pass. So today I'm going to talk about, like before I start my uh, revision, correction of the test we did in the class, which are likely 30 questions that comes in exam. 30 questions that comes in exam. Uh, I will first of all encourage people that, look, don't encourage anyone to do exam for you. I always say it in any of my video. You can do it by yourself. Create time. Nobody has time as Nigerian people always say. But you have to create time for yourself. Create time if you know it is important for you. Time and I have it. Driver's license is very, very important in this kind of Europe we have now. It is not just to drive a car. It will give you a it's part of your credentials for a better job ahead. So in this season of pandemic, try to go for it and try to achieve it. So we make it real. We teach as if we are teaching child and, and, and we make it possible for as many students who is a who is interested for now so if you're watching this video just try to help us to like like put like on the like button just thump up and if you have any other any other name also put it in writing and drop it on the force for us to improve ourselves but just know that is a free is a free is a free lecture for as many that will be interested so today i'm going to talk about we in our class we 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 did a topic which is called manoeuvre and i want to briefly explain to us that the manoeuvre is one big topic which you have to understand and you have to understand that in manoeuvre in manoeuvre we have general rules and we have exceptional cases so when you for you to be able to get things easy you have to understand that there are general rules when the question is asking you general rule answer according to general rule when the question is asking you about the exceptional cases ask answer like exceptional cases most time for example a question says can you reverse can you reverse can you reverse it can be general law it can be exceptional cases it now depends on the objective now for the objective if the objective now talks about the exceptional cases which are two cases when you cannot make a U-turn, you cannot change direction. You enter a no-true road. The only means is to reverse. Or you park, and you're parking. The only way to get out from that parking is to reverse. Those are the two options, exceptional cases. Mm -hmm. But if the question specify and says, generally, according to general law, can you reverse? It's no. That is general law. General law. A student is calling in. Uh, because I have a lot of people that are going to call in today. So hold on one minute. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good evening, madam. Uh, madam Doris. Madam Doris. Okay. Okay. Madam Doris, you have something to share with the with platform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to thank you for all your for all your teaching on YouTube and Facebook. I know that I'm not your student too, but I've been following you for the past eight to nine months now. You are not my student, but you've been benefiting from our online video. Is that also? Yes. So as 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 it as, as it as it yielded positive for you? Yeah, yeah. I in the last week's uh, Friday I went for exam. So I passed my exam. I said I said I should call you. Okay, you sent me a so message. You I, sent me a message last week that you passed. I think I posted it on my yeah, class yeah, page. Really thank you. You really tried. Uh, you took you took out to teach us free of child, but everything you taught me just came out. Everything. You really sister, sister, me, sister, sister have, you, have we met before? Have we met before? No, no, no. Where are you no, staying? You. Where are you staying? I live in Benidorm. Benidorm, Alicante, Benidorm. That's great. Yeah. I really appreciate. So help us to tell a lot of people in over there that we are doing something yeah, online in Madrid. I'm to my friends 
Thank you very much. And again, help us to tell them I can post, we can get their material. We can also get the material to tally to exam and we make it real. Thank you very much for appreciating it. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Your teaching is wild. And I was 100%. Everything you taught us, everything you taught us, and I will, and, and, and I will expect. I will expect a gift from you. I will send my address, so maybe you send. We post you a gift. <laughs> no worries, no worries, sir. When I'm working, I will send you a gift. I don't forget, eh? No, no, no problem, sister. Try. Thank you very much. I really and appreciate Easter, you, man. And each time I ask you a question, you take out that you will explain it to her. Sir, I, thank you very I, much. I have to do it. I have to do it, man. I have to do it. That is life. Thank, thank you very you. much, madam. So that woman, because a lot of callers are coming in today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Best of luck ahead, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Bye. So that is one of our students, uh, Sister Doris. She's calling from Benedor, and she she has been hooked up. She hooked up. She always hooked up with her, her, her page, and it has been so wonderful. That is one testimony. Since January, I've recorded seven students that has passed already. So we are still counting. We are still counting. So I can't count her as one of my students because she's benefiting online free of charge. But I will still take it as outside can get this. I believe uh, we that are my students, you just, just take it serious and get it once and for all. That's why I tell people that though my class is my contract with most of my students is until you pass. But I want to have a specific time with them, time limit where I can push people to get it. So let me go back to the, well, the, the, the trick in exam. On MANOVA, MANOVA is a topic, as I said, which you have to be very careful when questions are coming out in exam. And you must be very careful answering obligation and exceptional cases. That is why people go to the exam and they say, oh, uh, they failed me. They failed me. A student called me and said, teacher, they failed me and I have to like go back and 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 sue them and i said you sue them you can win because the mark deal right is just because when you don't have a right theory there's a theory i always tell people that if you don't prepare to go and do exam and you go and write the exam you pass good but remember that money you don't pay for teacher or you don't pay for learning you're going to pay it for sanction for sure because you don't have a proper theory you just have a kind of crash kind of study and you do exam and you pass, you are going to pay. You're going to pay. That's why you see many people, at the end of the day, they drive and they get sanctioned in Spain, and those sanctions are so expensive, and, and they get it wrong. So many, many people won't know they are, that they are right from the left. Some people, when they are being controlled by the police on the roadway, and they are not meant to remove point from their license. They don't know when to remove point, when not to remove point. So when those police knows that you don't know your rights, automatically they do they do the excessive to you and they get it they get it wrong at the end of the day so that is exceptional cases and you know and get this clear that when they are talking about overtaking it has the same thing similar thing to do with u turn overtaking and you so the question the same system you will apply in overtaking is the same system you will apply in u turn what are the three systems? What are the three theories you have to apply there? One, if they ask you, can you overtake or can you make a U-turn here? There are three things you have to check. One, check whether a sign prohibits you. A sign. A sign can be the road markings. If the road marking is solid, it prohibits you to change lane, which means when you cannot change lane, you can't make a U-turn. Two, you have to check the traffic situation, the, the, whether there's an obstruction or a coming vehicle. Three, you have to check the road. Does the road permit you to do that? Is there a one-way track or double way or this? You have to check that so that before you can be able to answer that kind of question. So just get that so clear and, and direct. It's very, very important. You have to get the trick. In exam, you have to get the trick. You just have to get the trick. You just need someone to explain the trick to you so that when you go to the exam, you'll be able to get it easily and, 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 and easy. easy. Somebody, a question was asking. A question was asking. In the exam, where will a passenger come out from the vehicle? Come out from the vehicle. They say, A, on the right side, B, on any side, C, on the side closest to the curb. The answer is on the side closest to the curb. On the side, though it might be right side here in Spain, but 
you can't pick on the right side. It has to be on the right, closest to the curb. Coming out, you go into the curb. You don't come out from the driver's side. If, if you're having passenger behind, the passenger that sits behind the driver's side shouldn't open the door to come out because it's risky. So we have to like uh, get that clear. I'm waiting to pass my exam also. Somebody said, oh, you're good. You'll pass, you'll pass, you pass. So today I'm going to take uh, the test I gave in the class, in our class. So if you are not my student, just try to follow up. So if you are my student on the line, I want you to do me a favor by, by trying to pick the answer because I, will, I might not come up with the answer again on the on our class page. So it's very important for you to pick the answer now. The test number one, the test number one says, is it mandatory to use seat belt in a private car? Is it mandatory to use seat belt in a private car? It's yes. It's yes. It's mandatory for everybody, whether in built-up area or outside the built-up area, you must use seat belt. Yes, except the driver. Except the driver who is carrying out a reverse maneuver. The only time you can remove seat belt is when you are reversing in maneuver. When you are reversing. So apart from reversing, you as the driver, you must always be on with seat belt. Most especially sometimes when you take a taxi. Most time the taxi driver will, won't tell you to put on the seat belt. But put, give yourself a brain. Immediately the taxi driver wants to enter a highway, put on belt. Because when you are stopped, since you are an adult, an adult is someone who is above 18 years, you'll be given sanction for that if you're caught. But if you are a, a kind of minor, the driver will be given sanction for that. So C will be the answer. Number one, C. So somebody can help me to type it. Number one, C. So that when we copy the video, the other student can get and do their correction. Number two, is a minivan only carrying the driver permitted to drive in an HOV lane. What is an HOV lane? An HOV lane is a lane that is designed specially for certain vehicle. Now, and again, if you are alone in that ve vehicle, you can't use an HOV lane. You have to be at least more than one person to be able to use that HOV lane as a general law. But exceptional cases, Permit some certain vehicle because that lane is always meant for bus lane or some kind of uh, emergency vehicle or, or road works, special vehicle track. But on this, anyone that has a V15 sticker, what is a V15 sticker? That is the disabled sticker. The, the sticker that, that blue one that they put on the car, if you have it, you have right to use the VAV. That is why the answer here will be A. Yes, if the vehicle is carrying a disabled person sign. A, number two. Number three, the lane direction arrow. What is the lane we are talking about? The lane we are talking about is this. Is this lane you are seeing? Direction arrow. We have four types of lane direction of it, which I'm going to talk about. This one is a lane arrow that is telling you John, or the direction indicated but the sign if the sign permits it they authorize the driver to change lane if the sign permits it. what is the sign if the road marking is broken you are permitted to change lane which is number c number three is c now number four are you permitted to in change of gradient with reduced visibility I can't see the vehicle that is coming from the other side. So in this case, you have to understand that it's no. In a change of gradient with reduced visibility, I cannot. Just like the same question is applicable to bend. Can I overtake on the bend? The bend, if I don't have a visibility, how will I overtake? When I overtake, it will, it will, I, will, I will incur an accident. So the answer on number four here will be A, no. Because the change of level with reduced visibility because according to the picture, there's a reduced visibility. I can't see the vehicle that is coming from the other side. So A is the answer, number four. Number five, could you have an accident due to drugsiness without falling uh, complete asleep? Without falling complete asleep, 
Yes. Dro what is drowsiness? Drowsiness is sleepiness on steering. You're sleeping on steering. Like now, those who cheat nature and you're trying to like drive, you get, you notice that you are feeling sleepy. That kind of person, you are not going to drive nice, fine. You are not safe when driving. So that kind of person should understand that, yes, the first sign of drowsiness already will affect your driving, which is C. Number five is C. It will affect your driving. Drowsiness, fatigue, any factor that relates, that, that, that increases your reaction time will always affect your driving. Number six. Number six. To do when you see the sign. What is the sign? This is the sign. This is the sign. When you see the sign. When you see that sign, when you see that sign, what you must do is you must pass on the side where the green, the blue arrow is pointing. The other side is not for you. It's for vehicle that is coming from the, from ahead. That there will be, in this case, the answer here will be B. Number six will be B. You must pass on the side where the arrow is pointing because entry is prohibited on the left side. The left side is circular aid. So the number six is B, is B. Thank you for people that are putting the answer for me. I really appreciate so much. Number seven, number seven says, after the sign, it is mandatory to turn on, to turn on after the sign. Mandatory to turn on at least. Look, the sign is this. This is the sign. This is the sign. Circular blue with deep beam headlights, which means at least, at least you must put on a deep beam headlight. That is the sign of a deep beam headlight. So this sign is found at the entrance of a tunnel, at the entrance of a tunnel. So when you are entering a tunnel, whether daytime or night, you must put on at least deep beam headlights, deep beam headlight. What is deep beam headlight? Deep beam headlight is normal light which we use in any reduced visibility. When you are entering a tunnel, a tunnel is a closed area, so it is important for you to have your deep beam at least light on. And when you're leaving the tunnel, the same picture will be found on a rectangular blue with a question mark. So which is telling you, why are you still putting on your light? So which means if it's done in the day, you put off your light. If it's still at night, you continue using your light. So number seven is A. Number eight, number eight says, where are there more accidents involved in pedestrian? Where are there more accidents involving pedestrian? So who are pedestrian? Pedestrian are people that walk with foot. They are not driver. So where accident happens to them more is an urban area because in the urban area, they can be found. On our inter-urban road, which is not carried away, pedestrians shouldn't be found. So it's very important for you to understand that. Please, if you're watching our video, try to like, thump up, like our video, like and subscribe. Don't just watch us free. Subscribe, please. If you can subscribe on some video that are not even educative, please help us to subscribe. Don't just watch the video. Watch the, subscribe on the video and try to thump up, like. Appreciate what we are doing. Somebody called now and said he appreciated our, our, our video. So please, our video is going to spread. Appreciate it. Good. Then, number nine. I said number eight is B. Number eight is B. Number nine, what is the recommended tire pressure? What is the recommended tire pressure? Recommended tire pressure. That means what is the inflation pressure you have to put? Remember, you can't just go to any, any place just to put uh, pressure. You have to understand the manufacturer pressure which is ascribed to that tire. So every car as a manufacturer pressure, manufacturer pressure, which must be pumped into your tire. So what you need to do is that cross check from the uh, from the book, from the from the document of the vehicle, or you check a kind of leaflet on the seat belts, or you open the uh, the tank cover and you check it there, or you check the plates on the pillar of your door. So those are the area where you can get the bar. Somebody might ask, uh, how many, what are the pressure bar I must pump in my tire? That is what you have to pump. Whatever pressure they give to you is what you have to work. So it has to do, it has to be a pressure 
the tire must always have the pressure recommended by the manufacturer, which is number nine is B. Number nine is B. Number nine is B. So number 10, driving in ice or snow. It is advisable to drive. When you are driving in ice or snow, you must use the highest gear possible. You just don't drive with just normal gear, the normal way you drive normally on the, on, the, on the road surface. When driving in snow or ice, you use the highest gear possible. What is the highest gear possible? Highest gear possible is gear number two and number three. You don't drive one. If you drive with number one gear in snow, automatic, your tire will be turning in the snow and you'll get stuck in that snow. So number 10 is B. B is the answer. Please, this question I'm treating a question that I'm sure in exam. Sure in exam. Anything I treat on the platform, a sure question in exam. We just don't use any other material. We use material that tallies with the exam. And whatever video you are watching, please, if you follow us king, carefully, you are sure to pass. Though we don't come up on video like this every time because I have my class online on the WhatsApp group and, and we, we, we have the complete things there. But if you want material, we can post it to you wherever you are. Even if you are outside Spain, we get material to you. You can be a student from anywhere. We put you for exam. You come and do your exam and you get it passed. So if you're watching us, I said thumb up for us or anyone you need to do, just appreciate our, our teaching, please. Don't just watch us for free, please. We are not asking you to pay online but thump up and appreciate and drop comment. Number 11. Number 11 says, the maximum permissible level of alcohol in Excel, Excel here for a new driver, for a new driver. Now, what is the Excel here? The Excel here is the here that you breathe out. Remember, alcohol can be checked in two minutes. One, in the Excel here and in the blood that flows in the system. Excel here twice at the interval of 10 minutes. And after that, they can carry out the blood sample stuff test. So here, for a new driver, you have 0.15 milligram in the Excel here for the first two years. A first driver, a new driver has first two years. So the answer will be C, C, number 11, C. Number 12, number 12 here says, Animal can walk. Animal can walk. Animal can walk. One thing you have to understand when you meet a question about animal is that there are road where animal cannot be found. Motorway, dual carriageway, animal should not be found there. But on other road, yes. So which means number 12 will be A. On all road, except motorway and highway. The highway they are talking about here is highway for good. A, number 12. Number 13. Number 13 says, if your vehicle has passed its first ITV, you've passed the first ITV. This is a trick in exam. This question comes out in exam and it's a bomb and it's a trick. If your vehicle has passed the first IMOT, which is the ITV, when, do, when does it have to pass its second inspection? When on high TV, when do high TV start counting from the first registration? And what is the first high TV? Four years. Now, the question is asking you, when is it going to pass the second high TV? Two years. So the answer here will be A, two years. So the first high TV is four years. The second one is two years. The third one is two years. The fourth one is two years. And after that fourth one, you annually until the car is packed up. Number 14. Number 14 here says, in order to merge with the traffic by reversing, are you permitted to invade a cross section? You park. And to reverse out. Cross section means a junction. A junction, a junction is the meeting point of vehicles. So when you park and you want to reverse out, you must not invade a junction. It's against the law. The only place you can invade the junction is when you enter a no true road and you tend to reverse. You can invade junction in that area. So for this, you cannot invade junction, which is number 14 will be B, B, B. Number 15. Number 15 is, are stickers allowed on the windscreen of a vehicle? A sticker 
allow on the windscreen of a vehicle. You know, most us first religious minded, we put sticker of church in front of our windscreen, put sticker of this one, God is good, God is my protector, God is this, you understand me? And at the end of the day, when you see some people's car in, in Africa, you tend to watch that, can you be able to see with all this bunch of sticker, all the, by every program that does in their church, the sticker is there. So, but a condition is, you can put a stick provided it does not disturb your vision. It does not disturb your vision. If that sticker is too much to the extent that it blocks your vision, the police can give you a sanction for that, which is monetary. So the answer here will be number 15 is A. Yes, provided that the road is clearly visible for the driver. Number 15 is A. A. Number at a level crossing. A moving barrier, dash, dash, dash. Level crossing is a track of rail crossing the road. Crossing. You have to cross the rail. Like what you're having in a, a city here in Madrid that is called Pala, where you have the tram at the train station site. You have to cross the tram track. That is a level crossing. They, they, sometimes there might be a barrier, the bubble one, which opens and closes. So the question here is that it said, moving semi-barrier. When it's moving, whether it's moving to open or it's moving to close, you must stop. You must stop. So be careful in the exam. You must stop when it's moving. So which is number 16 will be B. Number 16, B. Number 17. Number 17 says, the consumption of LSD produced in the driver. LSD is the drug. Is a drug. And two questions come from this LSD in exam. Two questions. That is, one is what is the effect of LSD, which we are going to talk here now, which causes hallucination and distortion of reality, perspection, which is 17 C. And the other question that comes up on LSD is the duration, how long does that drop sticks in the body, which is 10 to 12 hours. So number 17 is C. Number 18, number 18 here says what effect can stress have on a driver? Stress. When you're stressed, remember you from work, you're tired and you're stressed. And at the end of the day, you pick up your car. I remember many years ago when, when I was working in one kind of company that was so stressed. When we closed, before you can be able to even start your car to move, you're tired, just sit down. You have to like gas up, gain strength before you can drive home. So in that kind of something, you get more distraction on the wheel, on the wheel, the steering, which is you are more distracted at the wheel, which is A is the answer of number 18. A is the better answer in this area. Number 19, if it is raining, if it is raining, what should you pay special attention to if you are riding a motorcycle? Number 19, if you're riding a motorcycle, where you must pay special attention when it's raining is the road markings. The road markings because they will be slippery. Because the road marking that separate lane, if you go, you know, is a paint. When you climb, it to slip your wheel. To slip your wheel. So the answer to number 19 is B. To slip your wheel. Good. Number 20. Number 20 says, you are driving with your private car. On this road with a hard shoulder narrower than, than 1.5 meters. Narrower than 1.5 meters. What is the maximum? Limited? This is a conventional road. And the hard shoulder is lesser than 1.5 meters. Automatically, the maximum speed on that conventional road is 90. Because it's one lane going, one lane coming. And the hard shoulder is less than 1.5. So it's 90. Kilometer per hour. Number 20 is A. 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 What we are treating is the likely question in the exam, a 30 likely question today in the exam, which we said is the revision for exam and it's going to help as many. This 30 question I'm talking about might be an opportunity. You might be lucky to meet the same 30 in your exam. And because when you go to the exam, every student in that exam will ask different 30 questions, different. If you are watching another person, you want to copy, you are picking a wrong answer from that person. So everybody have different 
question. That is why I cannot predict and say, this is the question student A will meet in exam. But what I'm trying to do is that within the course of the short time which I'm teaching and the time I give students to study and come back to some questions with some questions, I'm going to make sure that I touch all the area where you are going to meet in exam, which is 100% sure. So if you're a student that follows me from the beginning of my class to the end, you are tend to go to the exam. If you make error, you know that, hey, this is my error. This is my error. The teacher said this, and I didn't. That's why I tell people, listen to the lecture, follow up with the material you get, and just, just make it once. And do all the tests which, which I'm giving to you. Like the next class on the Swim IB, we will try to visit the big test book which we are we, the students they have on the self. So we have number 21, number 21 question. Number 21 question says, say, can the condition and behavior of the driver produce distraction? Your condition. Yes, your condition can help. Your condition is not, you are not, you are not feeling good. Like this, you can be distracted. You can distract you. If you are type that, oh, you have to touch phone. Some people are addicted to phone. So, that kind of person will want to touch phone on steering. Like there's a mentality I have since almost almost this two weeks ago now that I have to be careful to touch my phone. Even if you're calling me and I don't pick, I will call you back because now it's it redu it reduced six points, six points in Spain. So when you when you're a new driver, for example, and you have eight points, and you touch phone, and a multi police stops you and remove six points automatically. Six out of eight meant two. The two is not effective. You have to go back. In that case, when you lose your point, you can't do exam in English. The only way you can do exam is in Spanish. So you have to understand that you're doing ex if you lose points, it's like a point punishment. And you, you're going to pay to get those points back. And those points are not coming back immediately. And again, let me use this means to tell students, if in future you have, you have your license, and maybe you 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 go to a party and you're drunk, and there's there are certain point that that is being reduced from your point. Call me, call me. Let me direct you on how to get those points back. Don't go and listen to somebody that will tell you that. Oh, don't worry. After years, the point will come back. No, does not grow. When you are a dwarf, the point reduces. You become a dwarf in the license. It won't grow. Don't let anybody game you. Nobody should give you. Go and bring back those points so that you can grow. Because when you bring back those points, you tend to grow. So number 21, which I said here, number 21 is A, which is yes, the condition will be, your condition and your behavior will distract you, which is yes. Now, when a driver emerge into traffic on a motorway, that is joining a motorway from the acceleration lane, Acceleration lane means that the lane that permits you to join the highway, as we call it acceleration lane. We call it entry lane or entry slip or acceleration slip. Anyhow, they call it an exam. Deceleration means you are exiting this because you decelerate. You decelerate. Acceleration means that you increase to join. Good. They said he must seize the answer. He must accelerate until he reach the highest speed at the end of the of the of the of the lane which is which is c number 22 is c number 22 is c number 23 23 here said what type of risk factor are eyes snow a wet road surface and a road walk you know this has to do with road we have three fundamental risk factor we have the human factor the vehicle factor and the road factor. So all these dimensions in the questions are road factor, which means the answer to 23 will be A, road and the environment factor, which is A, number 23, A. Number 24, you are driving and part of the road, you're driving and part of the road. This question in exam comes together sometimes with a picture of, of um, uh, a kind of Coca-Cola truck. In exam, and they show it. Yes, not ordinary. Yes, you have to signal it with a warning triangle. 
Put the warning triangle. Just know because in exam, they will trick you. They'll put A, yes. B, yes, with warning triangle. Warning triangle is the thing that makes you to signal a sign. That's a sign to signal. That's why we have it two in every vehicle. At any reduced visibility, you can put your light, side light, any other light. And now the law is permitting a kind of or revolving flashing light which you can buy in your vehicle. When the car stops, you put it on top of your car and sometimes some of them has a radio to locate you when your car is being stopped on an area number 25 number 24 i said i said 24 i said 24 20, 20 i said 24 is c 24 c yes with the one in triangles number 25 number 25 says if you placed the abdomen stripes the seat belt over your abdomen abdominal stripes you know the two seat belts one passes through the pelvic the pelvic and the other one passes through the collarbone here so this one which is called the chest stripes and the one under is called the abdominal stripes so they now said if you place it on the abdomen it will cause you an injury it has to be on the pelvic area under the abdomen because when it's on on the abdomen and when you, you you get an impact or collision you're going to vomit you might bleed because it's going to tie your stomach so it is wrong for you to have it on your stomach so the answer to 25 will be c it may cause serious internal injury during the accident so number 25 is c number 26 are uh, you as you increase speed as you increase speed Number 26, as you increase speed, what will happen? Your visual field decreases and fatigue appear fatigue soonest because you increase speed and you're speeding. Your visual field cannot picture everything around you. So the car is speeding and everything around you is like not, not being clear. So in that case, please be prepared after the leg, after this test. If you have any question, please. Relate with me, you can call on 620-586-038, or you drop your number, or you drop or you drop uh, the question on this on the platform immediately after the 30 the 30 questions, please, so that we can be able to touch as many questions or relate together because this is a class. Now, number 27. Number 27 will be an insufficient lit road. Is that in which insufficient? insufficient is that uh, i said number 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 26 number 26 will be b number 26 is but 26 b number 27 an insufficient lit road when they said insufficient lit road means that the road has a light but the light is not enough so in that area how can i know a road that is called an insufficient lead the answer here will be 27 is c which is with a normal sight, normal sight, person who sees clear, you cannot read the plate number at the distance. Or can't if you pass me and I cannot read your plate number in ten meters, or I cannot distinguish the dark color vehicle in fifty meters. So color in fifty meters, plate number in ten meters. That is how you will know that this road it has a light, but the light is insufficient. Number twenty eight. Number 28 says, is it prohibited to stop of gradients? Is it prohibited? Is it prohibited? It's not prohibited. But if that area has a reduced visibility, yes. That is why the answer to 28 will be B. No. No, it is not prohibited. No. Except for those where there is reduced visibility. Look at this question. This question talks about General law, exceptional cases. Exceptional cases, when it is not a reduced visibility area, I can park. But when it's a reduced visibility area, I can't park. Good. Number 29. Number 29. So number 28 is B. Number 29 says, the blue vehicle is reversing from the garage. You are reversing from the garage. Which vehicle has priority? 
match, you person who is on the road, whether a bicycle or any war or pedestrian. If you are bringing out your car from the garage and I'm on the pedestrian or the pavement and you hit me, you are wrong. So in that case, the answer will be the bicycle, according to this. The bicycle is driving on the on the road, on the pavement, and you, you are driving that blue car from the garage out. In that case, you have to honor, watch before you join the road. Number 29 is what is a which is a 29 a number 30 30 which is the last one last one number 30 in the event of contradiction between sign of the same kind sign of the same kind you know sign gave birth to five children and of the same kind which means one against one two against two so sign of the same sign which one has priority when sign of the same kind contradict each other on the roadway like what you are seeing in this picture, what you are seeing in this picture, the one on top is no parking, and the one under it is no no stopping. So in that case, no parking, no stopping is contradicting no parking alone. So in this case, what are we going to do? The most restrictive will be the one that has priority, and which one is the most restrictive here? The no parking, no stopping. So number 30 is A. That's the last question. So uh, if you have any question or you have something to share to give some other student, you can call on 620-586-038 or you drop your comment. Thank you for uh, my brother that helped me to put all the answers on the platform. So please, you can copy it at the end of the day to the class page so that all students that are not here will be able to watch to be able to watch uh, this and correct themselves. So I won't need to put the answer again on the... So, so number 30, I said 80 is A. So any question from anyone, we have... The floor is open for questioning. Any question generally? Question. Thank you. A student is calling in. Hello, good afternoon, sir. So any question from anyone, we have... The floor is open for questioning. Any question generally? Hello, sir. Hello, good evening, sir. You have to lower the the YouTube voice. Hello, sir. Hello, please. Your question, sir. Okay. Please, if you're calling, you have to lower the video of the of the of the. You have to lower the voice of the video. So that your phone will not like intersect the the your your question. So that I can and again, yeah, please let's make we we'll make the question snappy, my maximum of two minutes, so that we can be able to have every, every other person on board. If you have any question, you can also type if you can call in. You can for the people that are using the same phone to to you can also type or you call direct on six two zero or through WhatsApp. Also, you can call. So. Oh, uh, any 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 question from anyone? Any question from anyone? Any question? Any question from anybody? Any question? Hope I'm able to explain the 30 questions so clear. And if anybody meet the 30 question in the exam, should be able to pass it this time around. Should be able to get it. Okay, let's pick this question. Okay, so still have. So any any question 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 I'm waiting any question any question if you're not having question I will Okay, question comes up. Very good. Good evening, sir. My question is, a group of students are crossing the road are supposed to yield way to them when if they are not actual crossing. Yes, you have to yield way to them since they are a group. A group. They are a group. You know, in Africa, we can say, ah, if you cross road, I will eat you. But here, no. Since they are group in group. Whether a group of cyclists, group of pedestrians, group of animals, you must yield 
please number 18 number 18 number 18 i hope you are able to to see the the whole you are you've joined us from beginning because i i think i explained number 18 before number 18 is is a what effect can stress have on a driver more distraction you know more distraction number 18 will be a because b says it takes decision more quickly you can't take decision more quickly when you are under stress it takes longer to take decision you understand me and look at the the two thing is the problem sorry hello hello sir hello madam uh, good evening sir good evening madam this number number 21 22 i don't really get the, the explanation and the, the way you are explaining it i don't really get the answer sir number 22 yeah number 22 number yes, 20 sir. number 22 i explained that when you are joining a traffic a traffic means that you are joining the road traffic means road here a motorway yeah. you are joining a motorway that is the pista from the yeah. acceleration lane acceleration lane is at the road that like now for example you are going to the airport and you join the highway when you are joining the highway the person has to speed <clears throat> if the road is free you speed to join that's why they call it acceleration acceleration yeah. is that you accelerate to enter that is why they say you accelerate until you reach the uh, the right speed. The right speed means that according to the added, you understand me? Just, not that you just, they didn't say you should overspeed. So that area, you just don't do me, 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 to join the road. You have to join the road with a certain speed. You know, when, when you are joining, when you are joining, always watch this thing. Anytime anybody is driving you and wants to join the highway, you see that the person will just increase the speed to join. That's why they call it acceleration lane. That's why C is the answer in that area. Are you clear now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, bye. Any, any other question? So number 18 that I explained, uh, sir, number 18 is you can't... The reason why B... I know this number 18 will convince a lot of people in exam because uh, uh, number the B, the B says you take... You take decision more quickly, which is wrong. When you are under stress, you can't take decision more quickly. C, which is wrong, also say you take. It takes longer to take, and you commit. When they say commit fewer mistake, fewer mistake means less mistake. You understand me? So, if one is right in that area, the end of part of it will be wrong. So that's why the best answer in this area is the A, which means it's more distracted on the wheel. You'll get more distracted on the wheel. So distraction is, is like a general thing. In that area. Any other question? Any other question? Any other question? We are we we are we are still here. Any other question? We have five minutes to go because we are taking this class for one hour today. Any other question? Any other question? I came on board at the exact time today, as I said, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, and I'm closing eight o'clock. So, any other, any other, any other, any other question, please. I'm supposed to share this video with as many people. And if you're watching us and you want to be our student, here we get. If you want to just get our material alone, no problem. I have students that that just get our material alone, and sometimes the kiosk on YouTube like this. But you can have the full, the full class of it because uh, we have where we teach, and you can we we make it possible for you not to complain. That your work is disturbing you or this you can be able to have lecture we drop lecture and you have the lecture you can listen to the lecture time another time another time and with the material if you are working at night you can listen to the lecture the next day and we try to put some little tests that will help students and every student they have their test with them on their phone and they have their test on the book so which is going to help as many so and the teacher is available whether time you experience any question that is not clear, what you just need to do is to screenshot it, class page, and I'm available to explain, explain until you get it. If you ask me the same question 20 times, I will keep explaining until you get it because I don't know 
the right question that will come for you in the exam. But I know all the questions that everybody is going to meet in the exam. So, so I have to teach all the questions that you are going to meet. And all the questions you are going to meet, I make sure that I run them within six weeks. Within six weeks, I run all the... If you're a student that follows up, follow up, don't procrastinate any question. Take time to, to get them. A question from someone said, please, what is the answer to number two? What is the answer to number two? The answer to number two is A. The answer to number two is A. 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 Which is, which is, is a minivan carrying a driver permitted to drive on HOV lane? Yes, if it has an handicap or disabled sticker. But when it does not have an handicap sticker, you cannot pass there. You have to be at least two in your car to be able to pass there. That's the law. This this our uh, HOV lane we found is found on on Monclua to Aravaca. Is found on some area in northern part of Madrid also. So when you are driving in future and you get to a place where you see signboard of HOV or VAO, you have to quickly get it in brain that if you are alone in the car. You cannot use that lane, even though if that's the only lane that remains to his traffic, you don't use it. You have to use the number, you have to queue because that lane is described for certain kind of vehicle, and any vehicle with trailer also cannot be found on that road. So we have two minutes to go. Any question from anyone? Any question you can call in on 620-5860-330. Six two zero five eight six zero three eight, or you drop the question on the platform like this. And again, I posted the link to pick exam. It wasn't so easy to pick exam these days, but you can uh, the link. Just click the link. Try to put exam. Try to start checking from seven o'clock in the morning to like ten o'clock. You can clear. and again make sure that you do the medical test from the place I sent to you. To do the medical test, which people in Madrid, you do the medical test in Acapon in Madrid, and those outside can do the medical test closer to any area, closer to the traffic where this where they where they pick sitter for the exam. So it's very, very important. I try to at least get sitter for some, but it's not so easy to get sitter. You have to because a lot of people are picking up the sitters, so you have to keep 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 time. And again, don't surprise me when you pick a sitter. Inbox me the date, the time, if I will be able to create a kind of private interaction, a private interaction to be able to get you click a student calling in. Good evening, sir. Stop. So, so don't just surprise me just let me know when you please number seven and number eight number seven number seven says after the sign is it mandatory to turn on at least it is a and number eight where are there more accidents involving pedestrian urban area b number eight b Number eight B. Number eight B. B. Number eight B. Any other question from anybody? We have a minute to go. A minute to go. A minute to go. If you're watching us live, this is Steve, and we're based here in Madrid. Uh, we make sure that we, we teach everything concerning road safety. And again, we we into automobile also. If you have you have uh idea of you want to get idea of repairs of your automobile, you can also call. For me to question, for me to be able to be question. I'm sorry. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, go on with your question. You are live. Hello, sir. Please lower your video. Lower the video of the YouTube. You are live. Hello, sir. I'm hearing you. I'm oh. hearing you, sir. Okay, sir. Please, uh, you talk about uh, to get the 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 if for example you lost your your point in a punto in a if you lost your point.
question uh, in your driving license. Can you can you buy it? You don't buy it, sir. You were telling me today that they can buy uh, <laughs> You know, you know, we we the reason why we Nigerians are like uh, backward in this field is because we don't embrace true information. Um, quote me anywhere. Yeah. Most of them, most of all these uh, fake old bugger buy points. You can't buy points. You 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 bring back points by going for exam, going for what we call recuperation de punto, bringing back of the points, and you yeah. pay for it. Maybe he's trying to tell you that you pay to get it back. You have to study. You pay. You study. You are paying for that study to be able to get it back. Or how many you how many how many points you lose you understand me there are there are some things you go for almost two months there are things you go for just five days it, there are things that the school might said maybe you are going to do 10 hours so the 10 hours might be shared within 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 five days understand me so and the 10 hours might be shared with 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 with, with within three days so depend on the school, the availability of the lecturer. You understand me? Yes, sir. So most time, the problem we have is the people that that gives wrong information about driver's license and road safety here in Spain, where we are. People get wrong information. I sat, I sat down with somebody one day in a place here in 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 in, in Madrid, and the person was talking a wrong theory that has nothing to do with. And at the end of the day, when I scout, I only throw the question two questions i realized that if you if really you are the one that did your exam you should be able to know it and the person does not know it which means to me the person is they did the exam for the person and i look at the the scope of the person i realize that the person does not have anything in brain to even do the exam and pass so most time the reports you have from people that did not sit for the exam are so wrong in the society that is really affecting us they start encouraging others to get this because that after the pandemic without license you will deprive yourself from a lot of job are you getting me so now the the, the teachers of the of the of the spanish setting the south americans they are putting all their best and they are helping up their people to get it so that is why i'm able to come on board like this to assist also so yes, please any question about the road safety direct it to me you know me now you know my number. You you yeah you 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 call me. I don't. I mean, I don't argue with people that has that kind of mentality on the street. I know them. I know them. But just my own is to correct uh, the right to tell you the right theory that will help you. Any information that I don't know, I will tell you. I will get back to you in some in some right theory. That is why people allow you to make the same error that they have made. We don't. Yeah, well, like, I feel like I said I, I did not even tell him anything. I said that we asked you. <laughs> you yeah. will ask him, has he bought one before? Huh? Uh, has he bought myself? He, he, the person who is telling you that, has he has no, he paid for is, one? No, we, that is, we, we, we went to somewhere. I went to somewhere with him this morning when we were driving. We were discussing something about driving. I told him how I went to do exam with that I feel you know like that like that time I so he told me not to not to give up that I should continue studies. I love that. So, I love that. Anybody uh, who encourage yeah. you to continue that person yeah. I thump up for the person. I thump up. That is why I always say if you have a community, a society, a group of people or you are controlling yeah. a church or a gathering, please encourage people. Help me to encourage people. Encourage people that is high time you have the license. It's high time. If you don't have money, you should call me. If you call me and you negotiate with me, you don't have money. I will negotiate. I will. I will do a negotiation, and you have to have it. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. So no problem, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yes, Bye. Thank you, sir. So, uh, please, uh, uh, if you still have any question, let's just give one minute. A brother is just acting from a distance because we have people that change wrong theory on the roadway. Information you get from the streets is really affecting us. It's really affecting us. So please, please, and please, please, when you hear a negative information, try to, you can stop a police on the roadway and ask, 
they will tell you the right thing. Sometimes our brothers, our sisters on the street are not helping us with information. We are not getting the information right from them. And it's really a problem to our society here in diaspora. So God will help us so much. And I remain Steve. And if, or you want to call or you want to join us or you are watching this video, you want to be a student, you can call me on 620-586-038. We're based here in Madrid and we can get you material to any place in the whole world, in the whole Europe. Thank you very much. God bless you as you join us next time. I remain Steve. You can drop your comments on the board, on the, on the, on the, on the comment section for us to get across to you anytime and any day. Thank you, Steve from Madrid. God bless you. God bless you so much. Love you.